Good morning everyone. It is Friday morning, uh, it's the third morning of our Lent readings that we're undertaking um, this year. So let us, as we come together this morning, read together from John chapter 1. We're going to read from verse 35 to the end. Let's hear God's word. The following day, John was again standing with his two disciples, with two of his disciples. As Jesus walked by, John looked at them and declared, Look, there is the Lamb of God. When John's two disciples heard this, they followed Jesus. Jesus looked round and saw them following. What do you want? He asked him. They replied, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come and see, he said. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon when they went with him to the place where he was staying and they remained with him the rest of the day. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of these men who heard what John said and then followed Jesus. Andrew went to find his brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which means Christ. Then Andrew brought Simon to meet Jesus. They looked intently at Simon. Jesus said, This, your name is Simon, son of John, but you will be called Cephas, which means Peter. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, come, follow me. Philip was from Bethsaida, Andrew and Peter's hometown. Philip went to look for Nathanael and told him, we have found the very person Moses and the prophets wrote about. His name is Jesus, the son of Joseph from Nazareth. Nazareth, exclaimed Nathanael. Can anything good come from Nazareth? Come and see for yourself, Philip replied. As they approached, Jesus said, Now here is a genuine son of Israel, a man of complete integrity. How do you know about me? Nathanael asked. Jesus replied, I could see you under the fig tree before Philip found you. Then Nathanael explained, exclaimed, Rabbi, you are the son of God, the king of Israel. Jesus asked him, do you believe this just because I told you, you had, I had seen you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. Then he said, I tell you the truth. You will all see heaven open and the angels of God going up and down on the Son of Man, the one who is the stairway between heaven and earth. Amen. And that's the end of John chapter. One. It's an interesting little bit of history. Um, Jesus starting to call his disciples. Um, as you see uh, just how it happens, you see the, the disbelief and then how Jesus um, calms some of those fears. Also, whenever he says, uh, you believe me because I've seen you sitting under a fig tree. And when he said it to Nathaniel, you will see greater things than this. Can you imagine being one of those disciples? Can you imagine seeing um, Jesus and seeing the miracles that he performed and seeing him as he transformed lives? It would have been amazing to see that, wouldn't it? We can still see that. As followers of Christ, we can still see how what Jesus has done transforms so many lives. And he still calls us today to be his disciples, to be his followers. As we read coming up to Easter, all about the life of Jesus, it's about us learning that. Learning what it means to be disciples. Learning that it's about walking with faith. Learning that it's walking through hard times and difficult times. But learning as well as we do that, we will see wonderful and amazing things. Until that day, whenever we see God, whenever we see Jesus sitting at God's right hand in heaven. It was an amazing journey that the disciples were on. It's an amazing journey that we're going to go on for Lent as we read through the Gospel of John. And I trust that as we do that together, that we would learn together, that we would grow together. And more importantly, that we would grow closer to Christ. So let's pause and let's pray about that this morning. Father, again, thank you for another wonderful day. Wonderful because you have blessed us with us. Wonderful because you have given it to us. 
wonderful because today we can follow you. Lord, today for all of us will be slightly different. There'll be ups and downs. Um, there'll be hard times and good times. Lord, we don't know what this day will even bring. Um, it's in your hands. But we thank you that it's in your hands and not in ours. And we thank you that today you call us to follow you, to follow your son Jesus, to follow what he has taught us. So Lord, help us today to follow you and grow closer to you, we pray. In Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. Good to see you online. Um, just remember, today is Friday, so there's no um, reading tomorrow or Sunday. Uh, but Sunday morning at 11 o'clock, we do have our online service. So please, if you're able to, come and join us for it. It'd be wonderful to see you there for it. Um, and then again on Monday at half nine, we're back to our um, readings for Lent as we start into chapter two of John's Gospel. So please join us for then if you can. But in the meantime, take care and God bless. And I trust that you stay safe over the weekend. Bye.